As long as there has been war, there's been technology to help people fight it. Spears, slings, bows, and later firearms gave soldiers longer reach. Armor protected them. Chariots and motorized vehicles moved them quickly across the battlefield. Balloons and airplanes gave them an eagle's eye view of the enemy. But for thousands of years, the most complex and many of the most dangerous tasks in war, those demanding planning, calculation, and creativity, required a human being. With the advent of computers, radios, and precision manufacturing, that finally began to change in World War II. The success of the attack depends upon reliable radio communication. And on August 29th, 1943, a German bomber dropped the world's first radio-guided bomb. In essence, the very first military robot. Today, the United States is a robotics leader. With precise manufacturing, tiny microprocessors, and sophisticated software algorithms, robots are finally cheap, fast, and tough enough to accompany the grunts on even the dirtiest, most dangerous missions. Explosive Ordnance Disposal Airmen have an important tool to help them with their mission, robots. Thousands of robots walk, roll, crawl, hover, fly, swim, and dive on the battlefield. They even kill, using bombs, missiles, and guns. In this series, we're going to take you on a tour of some of the most trusted robots in the field, along with some theoretical models that haven't yet been rolled out. They're the result of an optimistic point of view, the belief that robots help us fight a better war and recover faster from its traumas. For better or worse, they will be one of the defining technologies of 21st century warfare.